Okay, Joseph, let's go ahead and get started. I think it's a, it's a good start, definitely. You know, you don't have to include your sources in, in your poster. You know, we're going to we're gonna take liberties here, and we're not going to include our sources because I, I just don't want the, the clutter here. Now, one of the things I'm seeing here is that this is just really super modular. Um, everything's in boxes. And, and I don't think that's a good way to go. I really don't. I think as soon as you have more of an organic layout, an organic approach, I think it'll be a lot easier, a lot more direct for the, you know, plus a lot more fun to look at for the viewer. So if you take a look at some of your favorite infographics, they're not this kind of modular setup. They're more organic in their flow and, and they're a lot of fun to look at. This is like basically what you're doing here is you're saying, okay, here's a fact, it's in a box. Then there's a fact next to it in a box and then a fact next to it. Let's get creative with this, Joe. I've, I've seen your work. I know how creative you can be. Let's get creative with this. Okay, so, um, and take a look through the, you know, I get the time. Craig, I'm so sorry for this. I can like throw you under the bus yet again. But Craig's is really, really interesting. And he's done a great job here. And he's worked his tail off on it, and you can tell. But, I mean, it's just really a nice organic flow. Because there's no, like, okay, here's here's a fact. And right next to it, there's another fact. And right under it, there's another fact. You know what I'm saying? Too regimented. You know what I'm saying? I mean, let's go ahead and and, and really get creative here. Where did I go? I got, I got lost. Okay. Okay, I'm found again. Okay, so anyways, um... So let's really try to do this. Maybe even think about it. Maybe a central graphic where you can start to. I think the graphics are too big, too. I really do. They're enormous. Plus, you only have six on the page. I would shoot for more, definitely, in between 8 and 10, 10 and 12. Even. Um, so you can reduce the size of these graphics. Maybe start with a central focal point and, and assemble these graphics around that central focal point. Or just try to think of a way to make this a little bit more organic in, in it, its delivery. Um, I would recommend establishing a nice area, a banner area that's an invitation, like a banner. Okay, this is the title area. Think of a really super catchy title too. I'll show you a good example of a title area. Um, that's that's really. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, somebody put a graphic, a really super high res graphic in here, and it's slowing down my computer big time. But anyways, this is interesting right here. See this vape romance? That's interesting. And then it was in, this is really interesting too, right here. See how it kind of draws you in here. The color and the whole setup just kind of draws you in. So it's a really fun way to look at the poster and say, hey, you know, I want to enter right here and I want this to be fun. And this is fun and it's a great layout. And I think that to a high degree is going to depend on the typographic treatment of the banner area or the I shouldn't say the banner area. I should say the header area, the introduction to the piece. Um, think about your color usage. Right now you're, you're, you're at this blue-green. Um, it's a little, bit, a little bit lacking in contrasts. I think if we added some color here, I think it might be really super interesting. Um, so, so I would work on your color. I wouldn't limit it to two colors. I really wouldn't. Okay, uh, right here. This graphic right here is good, but there's no contrast here. Try to put him in a different color because right now you – from a distance – it, 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 there's only going to be nine guys here. There's not going to be 10. So the 90%, will, you won't be able to see him. And if you want to test it, just go ahead and open up your PDF and zoom out, zoom way out. You'll see that disappear because there's no contrast. It'll start to take on the characteristics of the paper white behind it. Um, this right here, this is important right here. This every few hours, this little tagline right here, every hour, never, that's really super important. Every bit as important as the percentage associated with it. So I would recommend that you increase that, how somehow recompose that. So this is every bit as apparent as the percentage. Um, add a, add a graphic here instead of just a percentage. Remember, we, 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 add, we need graphics. This is not an infographic. This 15% right here isn't an infographic. This is, but it's not the most interesting one. We've already seen that up here. Let's think of a really interesting way to represent 15%. 15 times per day, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Over here, 23 minutes. Again, we have pie chart, pie chart. Let's, let's try to try to increase your, your visual um, engagement here. Try to think of a, a, a better way to increase, to uh, show uh, 23 minutes. So, um, 23 minutes and two and a half hours. Yeah, yeah, let's get creative here. And then again, um, try to add more. Try to add more graphics, okay? All right, so I think it's a great start, but what I would recommend is just uh, sit back, let's get an organic flow here, and um, work on your type, work on your color, work on your layout. And if you have any questions at all, don't get me wrong, I think it's a great start, but if you have any questions at all, please let me know. I'll help you guide, guide you through here. All right, great start, Joe. Thanks so much for sharing.